What's going on, everybody? Really quickly before I get into this review. Well, first off, I'm about to do some well, church announcements, if you will. If you didn't come for this, if I remember, there should be a link either in the description box or right in the comments. It'll take you straight to the review. Just putting it out there. But, um, like I said, for all those who have been praying for me, uh, well wishes and everything for the board. Like I said, I went yesterday. All went well. Got peace status. If all goes according to plan, I should uh, be promoted 1 uh, March, which uh, more likely be, well, it'll happen. Uh, that's if points are low enough and them bitches don't skyrocket. That's what happened last time this shit happened. So for everybody who was uh, praying for me, would not thank you. Thank you. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much and for understanding. With that being said, um, I did say that I was going to do uh, Focus uh, February. I'm still going to put videos out for it. I'm not going to do it as I wanted to, and that's one day a month, seeing as how I'm actually going to be gone for, the, like, if not a third half of this month, which also means that some videos will not uh, happen, and I'll just have to come back and give you all those on the rebound. And, um, yeah, and with me having to do all that study, I didn't really have time to actually do a lot of research. It's one thing to sit here and watch, you know, a show and talk during the commercial. That's what I do, y'all haven't noticed. But it's a total another fucking thing to actually be able to sit down and dedicate yourself to researching topics, which is why I haven't done Trinity Thomas and all those other things. So I hope I hope you guys understand. And if you guys see, like, damn, it's been a week or, like, two weeks and we ain't seen a video, that's why. Also, in one of the upcoming months, I'm not going to tell y'all which month, because, again, unpredictability is, is, you know, what part of what I do for a living. If y'all see that I ain't putting shit out, and if it's it's going to be in the upcoming months, so it's not fair, but when in one upcoming months, I'm going to be off the radar completely. You might still see me on tw on my social media accounts. I'm going to get back into that. But in terms of a video, yeah, you're not going to see it. So, But, again, you guys, thank you so, so much. And hopefully by mid to late March, I should be in a brand new setting. And we can really turn the fuck up. You feel what I'm saying? Saying. Alright you guys, so thank you so much for watching. This is the review for Little Women in Lada. Alright. <laughs> this shit's fucking crazy. So first and foremost, uh one I wanna shout out uh Callie Butterfly, like I said, you know, I've been missing you on the YT, but you know, shout out to her, but she did point out something. Because here's the thing, I don't always see everything because again, between watching, taking notes and trying to record, there is certain things that I miss, and I'm pretty sure you guys see that. But she did mention how, you know, Juicy was certain part what she was, but she was making those facial expressions, which means that everything was go popping off the way she wanted to. And I, of course, you know, reality show, they're going to sit here and hype up drama, and it really wasn't shit. You feel what I'm saying? Now, let me see. Uh, Tanya was like, if this is how people treat new people in Atlanta, then maybe I don't need to be here. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. But again, here you are selling your life for money. Talk more about that later. Now, Sam did not defend her. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Sam did not defend her. Now, what Sam did say is, you know, uh, everybody says things that they don't mean. No, no, no. That's not defending your fucking friend. Because Tanya, even though she put the battery in your back, literally said that, let them say they shit, and went to defending you. So, Sam... This is like the second instance we see of her not being a good fucking friend. One, you told your friend Ben is now two, you can't even sit here and defend her. That's that fuck shit. And Minnie was like, well, you need to tell her then. And, you know, she was like, I will. But again, Minnie is like, and I think it was, uh, give me one second. I'm going to kind of pop this down and pop it up. It was T.L. Uh, I think it's, hold on now. I won't tell her. Uh, Wessels, she had mentioned that, um, they never questioned Gary, and in hindsight, and even thinking about it, Gary never got questioned. But again, it's like y'all comment on shit in the whole what everybody is questioning. It don't fucking matter. But like I said last week, you don't you don't have to tell a whole lot of shit. Y'all think about it. There's a lot of reality TV stars that 
either make their storyline off of other people, because <clears throat> that's what Kenya did when she first went to the Real Housewives. She really wanted to talk about her personal life, but she got in with everybody and used them to create storylines without having to necessarily dig into her personal life until she chose to do so. Tanya can do the same exact thing, but the fact that you brought him here, come on. I mean, let's fucking be real. Let's be all in 100. Now, but y'all already know how I feel, felt about that whole fucking thing. Like, everybody was out of order. But at the end of the day, remember, the only person you control in any situation is your damn self. So the fact that... Grab my oh, oh, oh. So the fact that you allowed them to pull it out of you, you said what it is, so you can't be mad at no fucking body. I, I mean, I don't know how much I can fucking stress that. Now, the twins, Minnie and Moni are going to uh, meet um, Juicy in Birmingham for the Ricky Smile, Ricky Smile and Morning Show. So we'll see that. Now, Tanya meets up with Sam to discuss what happened. Now, Sam is saying that she's a private person, which I understand. I'm also a private person. But if y'all watch me, listen to me, y'all will see there are certain shit that I don't talk about. I don't go into detail about my job, personal life. Like I said, even if I had somebody, y'all wouldn't fucking know because that's not y'all fucking business. And the moment I let y'all into certain aspects, I can't be mad when y'all have questions. But if y'all start typing away and wondering what not, pay it does because it, it is what the fuck it is. But even if I did put out that, I can't get mad at y'all fucking saying something. You feel what I'm saying? But again, I can only control what I put out and I can control how I deal with things. They didn't control it right. It is what the fuck it is. Now, Tanya mentions that she had a love triangle. So she was with Devon, the uh, baby daddy that has the kids right now. And she was doing some, you know, stuff and needed a security pass because, you know, she was fearing for her life. Nico hooked her up. Nico hooked her up. She got pregnant, didn't know whose baby it was. So rather than tell Devon, like, hey, I slept around, it's a possible chance this baby not, might not be yours. She kept that secret up until, and I think even a little bit after giving birth. And that's when the shit came out. And it's one of those where I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with y'all. I feel no sympathy. You dug that fucking hole, so don't get on here crying about your shit. And for you to be so fucking private, this is probably something you should not have talked about. Now you send it to Sam, the same bitch that's been sitting here running back telling your motherfucking business. How fucking smart is that? Because the other girls know that's ammunition. You brought that shit on your motherfucking self. Let's be real. But no fucking sympathy. And, you know... For time, again, for time to be so private, you're saying this shit on national television. So right now, everybody finna sit here and label you as a fucking hoe. And I'm sorry, I will be that motherfucking friend where it's just like, I can't feel sorry. I, I will say, I can't feel sorry for you because you knew what the fuck you did. You was with a nigga, fucked around on your nigga with another nigga, and now you trying to sit here and figure out why you got all these motherfucking problems. Miss me with the bullshit. I'm that friend where motherfuckers already know, if you don't want a straight answer, please don't come the fuck talking to me. Because I'm going to ask you, are you sure you want the answer first before I go there? Is it all, is it all I had to say? Yeah, that's all I had to say for now. All right, so many. All right, so the girls are at the Reese Valley Morning Show. Y'all tell me why Minnie look like she wearing, okay, some bed spread. Looking like a Scooby-Doo ghost. I need for somebody to, to help me understand this. I'm, I'm not really, you know what I'm saying? This just look one of those where she was like, Mama, here. Let me grab this sheet off the bed. Go ahead and make it look like something. Don't do that again. Now, Ricky says to uh, Juicy that she needs to uh, be on TV. And why don't she shoot a pilot for her talk show and see if that goes somewhere. I'm pretty sure the producer was in his head with that one. Um, Minnie and Sam, they go shopping. Minnie wants to, is up trying to figure out why. Sam brings up Gary. And that's what Minnie's like, aha. Uh -huh. And she was like, you know, Gary, you know, kind of went a little ham, being a little disrespectful. You know, his mouth seemed like it might get his ass in trouble, you know. And um, many feels that they should not judge Gary based off of one instance. But that's exactly what the fuck y'all, fuck the rest of them girls. But that's exactly what you and Gary did to fucking Nico. So, again, miss me. And, you know, the only thing that Sam really said is y'all need to back off of them. But still, that's not enough of me in terms of sitting here defending your motherfucking friend. It's not. But again, like I said, maybe it's because I'm a dude and they women, or maybe because, you know, I just have different standards when it comes to motherfucking friend. Because I, I say this, if I watched this shit back and saw that 
and I was friends with a motherfucker, and you ain't fucking defend me back, we ain't got shit to talk about, because you're not fucking loyal. You feel what I'm saying? Like, especially if you sitting in the company while they talking, sh nah, ain't about that life. life. <clears throat> so, Juicy is partnered up with his uh, girl named uh, Naisha, um, and she's, Naisha does studio production, um, and she's trying to give her tips, like, okay, well, this space can seat 150, you know, comfortably 200 if we need to pack it. Or we could just, like, nix that and just throw them in a lab track. And Juicy was throwing off by but, I mean, that's what happens. I mean, a lot of shit you be watching, especially a lot of, re you know, um, sitcoms and whatnot, or these are funny ones. Yeah, um, a lot of those are live tracks. A lot of those are not uh, live studio. Some are. And she... Uh, Juice was talking about paying live voice. You don't always have to pay a motherfucker live voice. If your shit is on the popping, you can just be like, you can come in free. And if a mo some of us just want to be there to experience, especially if you bring something to the table. You feel what I'm saying? Now, she says, okay, well, you know, we should probably make you more sexy. So how about we give you sexier clothing and change your hair? Now, before I even finish that, one thing that I'm saying with Juice is rather than just staying, you know, poised, keeping it cute, and just... You know, politely, like, you know, um, uh, suit, you know, we can do a laugh track. Be like, um, I'll think about it, but I probably won't be going with it. You know, we could change your hair. It, it could be one of those, it's something that I'll have to think about because that is a drastic decision. Don't even just be willing to put on a fucking wig. Because you're like, well, this is my signature. Got it. But, you know, again, sometimes you got to swing it up a little bit. And then um, she was asked about a script. She was like, script? But it's one of those where you're on TV, so you're at a business meeting and you're on TV. If other people watch this, which they are, you can sit here and be hurting your coins because of how unprofessional that you are acting. And at the same exact time, if Ricky paired you over this person, now either he paying for her or uh, Lifetime is, but regardless, it's one of those where you fucking up that connect right there and you don't do shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? And... The whole thing about the script is, you know, structure. Because I'll, I'll keep it all the way 1,000, especially, like, imagine having a meeting. You don't necessarily want a script, but you want an outline. So if something goes too far fucking left, right and forget how the fuck you got that whole way, let's bring it back. We're going to sit with this right here. Not a script as in, you know, everything did out loud by line. But again, had she listened, we wouldn't fucking be there. Now, on to the twins. So Hardstamp says that, you know, Chris uh, went back to Texas for real this time. You know, they pretty much broke up. He ain't coming back. And I'm going to say this. Y'all probably be mad. It's what, exactly what the fuck she get. Now, mind you, the sage lady going to get hugs. I, I feel I feel that in my bones. She going to get hugs for me. With Andrea, this is one of the things where it's just like, don't be throwing stones in the motherfucking brick house. And it's almost like you was deflecting off of your shit and throwing it on Nico to make it seem like I ain't the only one that got a man problem, but that's not really her motherfucking man. But now you're an other fucking going. You want to see and talk all this shit about his kids not being there, but where's your other fucking child? Oh, that's right. With your mama. Are you paying them fucking, uh, you know, some support? Are you giving some type of financial support for your other child? But you want to sit here and come for Tanya's kids when Tanya got both her motherfucking kids? Yeah, uh-huh. I'm, pro I'm probably going to go the fuck there. And like I said, some people may not agree with Some people be like, oh my God, she doesn't deserve Here's the thing, also, also real shit, real fucking talk. Again, one time a motherfucker should have to tell you, hey, this motherfucker ain't for you. And if you continue to go back, get your heart broken, now this motherfucker and truly shut the motherfucking deuces, all the fuck you need to do is find a way to get some damn child support from his ass and leave it the fuck there. So uh, Moni goes to see um, Tanya. And she apologized for not doing more um, at the dinner. Now, what I will say again is one thing that I, and I didn't say this, one thing with uh, Moni is I understand that her man was there and that she was trying to go there. Do I feel that she should, probably should have said something? Yes, because at this point, you letting them go in on your fucking friend. You know what I'm saying? That's one of those ways you're like, yeah, you, you feel what I'm saying? You can sit here and check somebody without having to come out of a bag on the motherfucker. You feel me? Whatever she says, hey, Juicy has his, uh, you know, a pilot she's shooting. She wants everybody to come. And first time, it's like, no. And you, and here's one thing, and I, I'm, I'm gonna straight up say this. She's pretty much trying to, and they keep doing this whole little people gotta stick together. I hate hearing shit like that because I hate when a motherfucker sit here and 
you know, and it's not to say black people don't need to sit together, but I've had a motherfucker be like, hey, do me a side because, you know, we got to sit together. Like, I'm, no, that's not how the fuck this shit work. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and that whole, you can't, like, you need to let this go for the sake of, you know, that she's a little person, you're a little person. Man, okay. I wish a motherfucker would see and tell me, oh, you know, because we're all Jewish, you just need to let this shit. No, if another motherfucker Jewish person come me all the way to fuck love, best believe. Best believe I'm about to read the eyes of they motherfucker, turn this shit into dust, and then pay their ass to fuck dust. I ain't about it. I'm not. And same thing about me fucking being black. I don't give a fuck if another person is black. I'm not finna fucking be disrespected. You feel what I'm saying? And this guy, man, fuck second chances. But she says she'll go and get him a second chance. And Moni's like, oh, see, you count. We already all to a bad start. No, she right. Because, again, you know how that saying, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And... Like I said, again, I'm that motherfucker where it's just like, as soon as you, as soon as you, fuck, first of all, most people that I just, I fucking meet for the first time, we at arm's length distance. This is how far away I'm like, I'm gonna keep you. The moment you sit here and you go left on me, I'm gonna keep your ass country distance. What is country distance? My family, like I said, my family from Starkville, Mississippi. I'm not from Chicago. But the dis from one house to another, that's how far I'm gonna keep your motherfucking ass so we don't have a motherfucker repeat. Now, Juicy is feeling her, is filming her pilot. Her jokes are not hitting, and it seems like she's trying too hard, and I'm keep all the way 100 with you. Like, if that's her fucking product, first of all, I wouldn't watch the motherfucking show because no no shade, okay? But when I think of Juicy and sex, I don't, not in the same motherfucking sentence. You feel what I'm saying? So, no. And even based off that, like, it, it just ain't anything for me. And uh, what's her name again? Uh, was it Kaisha? I gotta find it. Not, not Isha. Pretty much, I said Kaisha, thinking about fucking love and hip hop out Hollywood. Pretty much said cut. So it's going to pick up from there. And of course, they're going to save the Andrea, okay, heart stamping Tiger Paws for later on the episode, which is, we're probably going to get that. Probably see it right before this um, upcoming commercial, then it's going to end there. More, I'm just about sure. All right, so they started from the top. And, you know, Juicy uh, feels that she probably should have listened to uh, Naishi. She probably should have. But um, it goes good. Now, one thing I will say is how the chairs were. The chairs were facing the audience too much. They should have been canning more to where she could interact with her host and a well, co-host and occasionally address them. Granted, I know it's not. Because, I mean, if it was just a solo thing, then, yeah, have it directly at them. But because you're interacting with another person that's there, you should be interacting with that other person opinion. Ty and Assassin talked to the girls and she was trying to get them to understand but they weren't understanding so she reveals that uh, she's a hoe. You know, she doing whole activities with whole tendencies. Hoes is a... Let me not do it. Let me not even do ludicrous right now because I swear I'm going to get thumbs down for I ain't going to finish it. I ain't going to finish it. Now, Tiger Paul called, well, Tiger Paul gonna meet up now. It's not hard stuff. It's actually a Rose right there. So she meets up with, uh, you know, Mother Rose. And, you know, asking, did you tell Mom? Rose was like, no. So she's like, you know what, fuck, where's your phone? I'm gonna call Mom right there. Okay, you out of order. You out of order right there. And, you know, Mom started to tell her about herself. And automatically, you know, she gets mad, like, Mom don't talk, I, you know, don't talk to me about that shit. Hang the phone. And she said that shit in a real nasty motherfucker way. Now, of course, you she knew how she was going to respond. She didn't even have to fucking talk about it. She didn't. Again, that could have been one of those where I don't even want to talk about the situation. And if my sibling would have been like, well, this is what happened. Once it would have been done, I would have walked away and left it with the phone. Like, you're not going to sit here and make me talk about shit. But, you know, Tiger called, Tiger Paul was just like, you don't talk to mom like that get up and walk away and she pretty much just like you know you never defend your family the one that are always there for you that's helped you take care of your two motherfucking kids which was a quick fucking read and if y'all catching this shit tiger paul don't have a fucking storyline but she is using her sister for a story storyline so y'all don't have to get into her motherfucking business again y'all need to sit here and peep game how this reality shit work all right, so this pretty much ends. All right, so, uh, so the shit happens, okay. Tiger walks outside, okay. You know, little puppy paw, you know, scrappy dude walk outside and calls mom, goes off, all that good jazz, you know. 
Now, Rose shedding not one tear at this particular point. Keep that in mind. Now, Mom tells, you know, Tiger, hey, look, we just need to pray for him. All right, long story short, we need to pray for him. Now, but it was that whole, I, I probably should have guessed, but Chris has a, a, at least one other child and a baby mama. So, I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. So, it's one of those where that's where he might be now. I don't know if Rose called Mama, Mama called Rose, but an apology happened, and then she started crying. That's when, that's when the crying starts, you know. But, hey, you know, mother just trying to look out for the funny child. She understands that she a mother. That's when the fuck this shit ends next week. I don't know how next week really looks, but, hey, we're going to talk about it when we get there. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching and for the world wishes, all that good jazz. I will see you all um Hopefully Friday for um, Mary to Madison. Everything goes right on this side. Peace.